Greetings to everyone. Subhash Chandra Bose, popularly known as Netaji, was a great freedom fighter and a patriot. Born on January 23, 1897, in Katak, Orissa, to Janakinath Bose and Prabhavati Devi, he was considered to be one of the most influential freedom fighter with extraordinary leadership skills and a charismatic orator. His famous slogans were, "Tum mujhe khun do." मैं तुम्हें आजादी दूंगा जय हिंद अंदर चलो ही फॉर्म द आजाद हिंद फौज एंड मेड सेवल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू इंडिया फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल ही वॉज नोन फॉर इज रेडिकल अप्रोच विच ही यूज इन इज फाइट फॉर फ्रीडम एंड फॉर इज सोशलिस्ट पॉलिसीज से है प्यार तो हर पल ये कहना चाहिए मैं रहू या ना रहू भारत ये रहना चाहिए से है प्यार तो हर पल ये कहना चाहिए मैं रहू या ना रहू हर कई रहना चाहिए सिलसिला ही बाद मेरी यू ही चलना चाहिए सुभाष जी सुभाष जी वो जान हिंद आ गए है नाज जिस पे हिंद को वो शान हिंद आ गए सुभाष जी सुभाष जी वो जान हिंद आ गए है नाज जिस पे हिंद को वो शान हिंद आ गए सुभाष जी सुभाष जी सुभाष जान हिंद है सुभाष शान हिंद है सुभाष आन हिंद है सुभाष मान हिंद है सुभाष जी सुभाष जी वो जान हिंद आ गए है नाज जिस पे हिंद को वो शान हिंद आ गए सुभाष जी सुभाष जी
कसम कसम बढ़ाए जा खुशी के गीत गाए जा ये जिंदगी है कौम की तू कौम पे लुटाए जा कदम कदम बढ़ाए जा खुशी के गीत गाए जा ये जिंदगी है कौम की तू कौम पे लुटाए जा Subhash Chandra Bose had been imprisoned by the British in July 1940 and had to appear before the British court on January 26, 1941. Netaji starts a fast until death in prison. When his health started to deteriorate, the British government was forced to grant him bail and Netaji was moved to his house and put under house arrest with men from Bengal CID guarding the Bose residence. They even had spies placed inside the house, including some of his relatives, to monitor his every move. Netaji is seen seated at a table with a table lamp, thoughtfully writing a telegram. Netaji and Sisir Bose have a casual conversation. How well can you drive? Not very well. I just know the basics. I haven't driven beyond Calcutta. Well, that's good to know, Sisir. Mia Akbar boards a night train from Peshawar to Calcutta and meets Netaji at his residence. I would like to go abroad through the tribal territories of Kabul. I know you have done this before. You have to help me. I'm afraid it is nearly impossible. I will disguise myself as Pashtun insurance agent. But you do not know Pashto. 
you surely will draw suspicion. I will act to be deaf and dumb. This talk is too far important for our motherland. I will wear black sherwani and I have already grown a beard. Very well, I know how stubborn you can be when it's matter of our nation. I suggest you go to the name of Zayuddin and travel to Peshawar by train from Calcutta. But first you must escape from here. Plans have to be cautiously devised. It is time to rise and go something for the freedom of our motherland. The men concluded that the best way to escape from Calcutta was from Netaji's house itself. Netaji made an announcement that he is isolated himself within the house. On 16th January 1941, Netaji finally executes his plan. Amidst the cold winter night, Netaji disguised as Ziauddin Sisir and Mia Akbar Shah prepared themselves to carry out the plan. Where are you both off to? To my brother's house. Okay, is he going to accompany you? No, I was just seeing it off. The policemen did not find anything suspicious. They let Cecil go. Cecil drives past the two policemen in a black German Wanderer sedan, and the policemen see only Cecil in the car. The escapers take the longer route and drive towards the Howrah Bridge instead of the generally used Wellington Bridge because the bridge had a tall booth. Following the Grand Trunk Road, Cecil and Netaji drive towards Cecil's brother's house, from where Netaji travels to the northwestern province the next day, completely baffling the British authorities and the Bengal CIDs.